Over 400 writers, artists and other prominent citizens have said that they are shocked beyond belief over the release of 11 convicts guilty of the brutal gang rape of Bilkis Berno and the murder of 14 members of her extended family, including her three-year-old daughter. They issued a statement condemning the unspeakable brutalization and trauma suffered by Bilkis Berno, and said the Gujarat government's decision to release the imprisoned convicts under the state's remission policy on August 15 makes it even more inhumane. They also expressed anguish over convicts being felicitated. Among 401 signatories are Raj Sabah, MP Jafar Sirkard, politician and columnist Sadindra Kulkani, journalist Poranjoy Guhata Kota, actor, activist and politician Nafisa Ali. We believe that the remission and the government's silence sends out a signal of impunity and sets a precedent that is inhuman and immoral. We, therefore, urge you to ensure immediate and complete revocation of the order of remission and thus restore the faith of all our citizens in justice, humanity and civilization, the statement said. Earlier, in an open letter to the Supreme Court, 134 former members of the All India Services, under the banner of the Constitutional Conduct Group, had expressed their deep distress over the premature release of convicts. They had urged the top coat to rectify the horrendously wrong decision by the Gujarat government, questioning the grant of remission to the convicts. Separately, around 6,000 signatories, including activists, eminent writers, historians, filmmakers, journalists and former bureaucrats, had on August 18 urged the apex to revoke the premature release order. On the morning of August 15, 2022, in his Independence Day address to the nation, the Prime Minister of India spoke of women's rights, dignity and Nati Shikti. That very afternoon, Bilkis Bano, a woman who embodied that Nati Shikti in her long and daunting struggle for justice, learnt that the perpetrators who killed her family, murdered her three-year-old daughter, gang-raped and left her to die, had walked free, the signatories had said in a joint statement. Reproduced below is the full text and list of signatories of the latest statement condemning the release of convicts in the Bilkis Bono case. Section Statement condemning remission granted to the 11 convicts in the Bilkis Bono case. We, the writers, artists and concerned citizens of India, are shocked beyond belief at the remission granted to 11 convicts guilty of the brutal gang rape of Bilkis Bano and the murder of 14 members of her extended family, including her three-year-old daughter. That the convicts were freed on our 75th Independence Day on August 15, a day when our leaders champion the cause of women, makes it even more inhumane. As Gandhiji mourned the violence of 1947 on the day India became free, we too mourn with profound sorrow and express our solidarity with Bilkis Bono, who suffered unspeakable brutalization and trauma and now watches helplessly, as her tormentors are felicitated and their release celebrated. We believe that the remission and the government's silence sends out a signal of impunity and sets a precedent that is inhuman and immoral. We therefore urge you to ensure immediate and complete revocation of the order of remission and thus restore the faith of all our citizens in justice, humanity and civilization. Thanking you in anticipation. Sincerely yours. Citizens of India. 1. Jafat Siakard, politician and humanist, New Delhi. 2. Sudindra Kulkani, politician and columnist, New Delhi. 3. Poranjoy Guhata Kota, Media, New Delhi. 4. Sudipto Mukherjee, Director at United Nations, Damascus. 5. Nafisa Ali, Actor, Activist, Politician, Goa. 6. Shubha Mudgal, Singer, Mumbai. 7. Anish Pradhan, Musician, Mumbai. 8. Jyantar Mahapatra, Poet, Kitak. 9. Raghu Rai, Photographer, New Delhi. 10. Naveen Kishod, Writer, Publisher, Kolkata. And 391 others, 